Okay guys, so what is my last thing I want to do? Oh, the back wheels are really, really rough. I'm going to go to the hoard and see if I can find any. I don't think I'll have any, but I don't think... I want to see if I have any Honda wheels. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, the tires on the back of the Honda mower are pretty bad, but the fronts have the same tread. So on the HR214 you can change, I'm just changing the back to the front. I know the fronts aren't very good, but they don't take any load. As you can see here, the fronts are in pretty good condition. So I'm just changing them out right now. And it's not that bad. But I did use a, an air gun to heat the rubber up. Right? Yeah. Now, the rub this little lip on the inside goes to this lip on the outside, so it has to go on like that and around. Uh, no, nope. yep, that's right. So it came off like that. It's going to go on like that. So I'm just going to. Uh, hey, get some liquid hydrocarbons. use some kind of rubber glue to hold the fronts together a little bit. Now I'm going to just, pardon me, I didn't know I was going to have this problem until I had a good look at these rear and they're not very nice. But they'll work for a front and I'm always doing things the inexpensive way if I can, right? Bob from Double Wide 6 got me onto this and he actually mentioned in his video that you can use the back tire, tire not hub, for the front. And it's a really good idea. I, th I thought about doing that, but I never really thought about it until I saw Bob's video. He knows, he knows what a tightwad I am. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's just use a little bit of hush by here. Try and roll the rest of this on here. I might have to go back to Bob's video to see how he put the hard ones on. And it's coming. Okay, let's just get funky here. A little bit at a time. Bad I had this problem now. I had that little Honda 214 just running like a champ, eh? Okay, we need more tools. Got them out here. We're almost there. 
There it is. Ooh, baby. Let's just go right to the center and see if we can suck that over. He used the vice. Well, there's more than one way to do this. I'm using C-clamps uh, and working my way around. Working. But I'm right at the hard part right now. There we go. Just move that C-clamp around. I gotta do this four times. Come on, baby. Oh, we're so close now. Just bring it over that edge. I'm missing about five or six three inch C clamps. God, I'm probably stuck in a drawer somewhere where I'd never forget where I put it. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Battery's getting low. Okay. I think Bob's got a harder job because his were new. Okay, how close are we? Oh, oh baby, we're close. Okay, skinny guy right there. It's like anything, you get it with a tire. If you get it, all of a sudden, it's just there. Yeah, yes. Can you believe that? Thanks, Bob. I'm going to heat this up just a tiny bit. We'll do the rest tomorrow. This little guy seems to be the best because it's, uh, there we go, we're there. I know it's not on, on, but it's on. Okay. Oh, heck, it is on. Ta -da! Three to go. But I think these old crack ones are going to go on pretty easily, right? They're, they're cracked on the sides, and I'm going to goop them.
right? Maybe even right to the wheel. Okay, let's clean up. It's time to have a break. Okay, this is just for information only. I, this, I've done all this with just by hand. I'm peeling this tire off of here. I peeled off the outside edge, or the inside edge. Now I'm going to the outside edge. And I just took the tire out of the lip. You can see that lip right there. And I'm just going to pop this tire off of here. Very easy. Easier than the first time, which means it's easier on the tire too. And I'll show you what I'm going to do to it when I get it onto the other side. Okay. There we go. Going to blow the dirt out of here. Like this. That's the rear. Now we got to get the front. We got to get this one off. It's the front. It's much stiffer, believe me, because it hasn't deteriorated yet. So I'm just going to heat it up with my air gun, as you can see there. And I'll, it's going to take a few minutes. I'll come back uh, in a bit. Okay, this is a slow process. We want to need we need something with a with a lip, right? So let's stick that in there. Take the lip out and put the lip in there. It should go. Good. Now it's just a matter of getting this thing off. See what a start I got there, eh? sure easier than the first time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clean this up because we don't want to put ugly uglinesses inside there, right? I'll be right back. Okay, we're heating up the tire. I've got it cleaned up. This is fun. You know, I have avoided doing this. I've known about this for years thanks to guys like... Uh, 65 Ford and uh, Double Wide 6 and probably all my other small engine friends. And I have been avoiding this. I uh, have been uh, grouping the tires together or just telling the customer that it needs new tires. Because I tell you, if, even if I just bought these rubber tires, the four of them would be 120 bucks Canadian, right? Maybe 80 Canadian? No, nope, 120. And then, I sell a lawnmower for 180 bucks, and I've tuned it up, sharpened the blade, put gas in it, oil, labor, and other parts. So I just can't do it. Not when you're, not when you're uh, flipping it. Okay, let's just leave that running and start. This edge goes into this piece, so we're going to go this way. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Good. Okay. It's, it's never as easy as it looks, right? Although you guys are watching, I'm doing the work. Okay.
Now I know the newer ones, when you buy a brand new one of these, after watching Bob's video, Bob from not from Double Wide 6, sorry, uh, he had quite a time putting that brand new rubber on there. But this older rubber is definitely more pliable. And now that this is my second time in, I seem to be a little better at it. Okay, now we're not that far off, really. I tend to like this little prior better than the big ones. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you guys who live in farming areas, did, did you have Sperry New Holland equipment? I think they're gone now. Somebody can look that up. They had a good little jingle on the radio. Hey, hey, hey. The Sperry New Holland Way. There you go. Two rears, perfectly good. We're going to dress them up too. All right, well, I don't need the heater. I don't need the heater. Maybe the heater has to cool now. <laughs> baby. Well, let's clean it up. This is pretty boring for you guys now because this one will just slip over there and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Alright, let's do this. aren't in very good shape. But once they're on, and we goop them up with a kind of a, it's called goop. Uh, and I might even use something a little more aggressive once I get it formed. But it's a front tire now, not a back tire, right? Okay, we just got a couple of jagged edges here. Right on, baby. Looks no worse than it did before, except it's now a front tire. Just the hairline cracks for the crazy glue. Like right there. And there. My gorilla glue, gorilla glue, excuse me. Okay, dealing with crazy glue, you gotta be pretty careful when you're using a camera. So I'm gonna fill these cracks that enter the tread area. Next. Just to give them st some stability. And even if somebody changes this tire out someday, they can just scrape this thing right off of here. Like it's just gonna cut off with a knife, right? Gonna use it up. So it's used up. I'll put it back in there to let it drip a bit. Now I had a fantastic idea on this last one. <laughs> Excuse me. You know I use these cool whip containers for everything. A matter of gooping each, gooping each slot. And I am going to wipe it down with hydrocarbons. You know what that means. I think <laughs> the crazy glue stuck to that. I'm going to stick. We can clean that up. Okay, let's go. Goop! See, 
See, now that I know what I'm doing, I can go for it. Ooh, that one's pretty bad. Eh? So we'll stick a, a deep one into there. Now, so what I do is I make a ridge where the hole is, or the crack. Hey, this, this is just a I figured out thing. There's no book on this. I've even thought of using a tiny bit of spray paint on these. <coughs> okay, now I can turn this over. I wonder if I can go that way. Hey, that's 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 even better. Even. Okay, here we go. McGuire's Hot Shine. I do not, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I think you're supposed to just squirt it on and leave it. Oh, a wide or a narrow pattern. This is the wide pattern, this is the narrow pattern. Perfect! I'm just going to wipe it off first and then we'll do another spray. Ooh. I sprayed my tire irons. Well, they won't rust now. Get rid of some of this stuff. this a shot. Wipe down the side walls and then the tread. Wipe it down and then spray it again and I don't know how long to leave it sit. Well, I gotta read the instructions after I do it. Okay. Shake well. Apply in a cool clean dry area. Adjust the sprayer to match the tire. Pull nozzle, hold spare, allow spare to uh -huh. wipe off excess if needed. Oh, there you go. Oh, isn't that sweet? We'll do it again. But I'm not going to wipe off excess except for the hub. Hey, baby. Gotta just have a place to put this thing now. Mm. I'll just put it on the hub. Okay, first we're going to spray it down. Wipe it off. Spray it down the other side. Wipe it off. Spray down the tread. Wipe it off. Wipe off the counter and more tools. All right, my friends. So putting on, I want to put on new rubber, but I just double checked it from yesterday. One moment, please. All right, are we back and are we recording? Yes, I double checked it from yesterday. And these tires are, I've got it up on the screen right now, and I'll tell you the number, 28, they're the Honda 42751. Let's take you over there. I don't want to, I don't want to think I'm horn swoggling yet. Okay. Honda 42751 VA3100, price 2804. So at a minimum, it would be, uh, what's that, 60 bucks, which is $90 for me, and then another $90 for the front. And this mower that I'm working on, 
is only worth about $180. Yes, it's the Honda with the clutch and the thing and the thing. But it's old. Okay, now I'm just oiling this. Uh, it's kind of a sleeve. It's not really a bearing, eh? Some folks would call it a... I guess it is a bearing in a way. I got just a half inch bolt in here. Good. We're going to keep working on this guy. And the other one's going to dry up and we're going to do the same thing to it. Okay, so every gap. We haven't even done the tire shine on it yet, right? This is the second application to the crackiation. that sit for a bit and we'll spray it. Thanks for watching this so far. All right let's start this up. I want to have a little bit of fun. So we'll start it on show. None of this has been done since I had since I cleaned the, re the rewind, uh, sharpened the blade, fixed the wheels. Hey, they look pretty good eh? has a manual throttle, right? Let's see if I can bring that up a little. the edge of choke. 